We'll begin here tonight with this. What your kids can read in school libraries has become a statewide controversy. And tonight, dozens of parents didn't hold back their feelings during a pretty contentious meeting that went down in Keller. J.D. Miles tonight, the only news camera at that meeting where tempers flared over books on gender and sex that some parents are calling porn. A sexually explicit book discovered last month on a Keller ISD library database created a firestorm that came to a head here tonight. Upset parents called on the school board to remove other similar material or resign. Lead this district, protect our children, or get out of the way. During a raucous meeting, parents brought signs and openly cheered, as well as booed. Those defending and those adamantly opposed to adult themed books available to Keller ISD students. And please stop the sexual grooming of our children by these types of uh, books and illustrations. It is my job to teach my kids about sex. It's y'all's job to help teach about reading, writing, and arithmetic. A sexually explicit comic called Gender Queer was pulled last month from an online Keller ISD library database. State Republican leaders, including Governor Abbott, have called for an audit of all school library books and the prosecution of those school employees who allow underage students to access them. Parents who brought a wagon full of some school library books they call pornographic support that idea. You want to know what it has in it? I'm not going to read it, but I'll tell you. Sodomy, rape, and drug use. But another group of parents called those comments homophobic and say opponents want to censor material that fosters healthy adolescent development. Why are we so concerned about the books in the libraries when many of these same kids have access to way worse contents on their phones and their TVs? Having raised my boys in what amounts to be a homophobic suburb, I ask that you really think of the students before you start pulling books off the bookshelves. Those very books allow students who identify in the LGBTQIA alphabet to see themselves reflected in those pages. The school board later explained to the crowd how it gets its books for its libraries. They say librarians look for age appropriate material, but administrators have placed a moratorium on any adult fiction until it can review as many as 10 to 15,000 books. In Keller tonight, J.D. Miles, CBS 11 News. J.D., thank you.